Hi everybody, Laura here. So glad you're joining me and welcome to the Spring Plush Blog Hop with Simon's the Stamp. I'm excited to be showcasing some of the fabulous new products that just came out and joining several talented designers. I know it's gonna be an awesome hop. So my two projects today feature the Springtime Chick as well as the Carrot Bunny. And here they are right here, the Plush Carrot Bunny and the Plush Springtime Chick. I'm gonna dive right in. We're gonna start die cutting out of some felt. So I've already pre-cut a bunch of little pieces pieces of felt and all the colors that I want to use and I'm just kind of sped this up because you can see I'm laying it all out and I'm going to run it through one time and then you have all your pieces cut and one shebang. So here we go passing it through. Now I put a piece of car suck. That's not Nina. Okay. I would never mistreat my Nina this way. This is just some scrap cheapy white cardstock. I'm kind of using it as a shim so to speak just to give me a little more pressure trying to get a nice clean sharp cut with my felt. Okay, so the bunny and the chick, I love saying chick, uh, they have the little holes around them that you can, um, you know, thread and with floss and, and twine and whatnot. I'm not going to be doing any of that. I'm just going to be using glue. Uh, you have fabric glue or you have, I'm going to be using my little mini glue gun to adhere everything together because I like to burn my fingertips. And it's always a good time when you, you know, kind of wakes you up, you know, a little bit of a burn. And no, I'm just kidding. Actually, I didn't really burn myself, but most of the time I do burn myself. I did, however, make a big mess because I'll tell you what, when you use the hot glue gun, you get these little strands of glue everywhere. And okay, so now I got the little insides of the bunny ears and I really don't understand why I did not do baby pink on the inside of the bunny ears. That would have been a better choice. At the time... I was thinking brown and I don't know why I was doing that, but whatever. Okay, so I'm just going with it. So I'm gluing the ears and then I'm gonna do the scarf. Now this was took me a little while to figure out. First, you gotta lay the long part uh, vertically. Then you gotta glue the part that goes around on his neck. And then once you fold over that top flap and adhere it down, it looks like the scarf is tied around the bunny's neck and it's so cute. I love all these extra little details. I think it's brilliant. So you've got the cute bunny and as if he wasn't cute enough already, he's got a cute bright pink scarf and he's holding the carrot. And then I've loved, I glued on some teeny tiny little blue eyes and a pink nose and this little bunny is finished. So you can kind of get the idea of how simple it is to put these together. I didn't show the chick, but it was even simpler than a bunny. You just glued the wing on and the little birdie legs and you were good to go. So now I'm embossing this gingham background stamp onto a piece of Nina Solar White. This gingham background stamp came out in the Reason to Smile release just the last one and I love it. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but I thought that this gingham pattern went so well with these kind of Easter springy plush cutie patootie animal. So I uh, rubbed it down with my, my magic powder bag, inked it up with Versamark ink, pouring on some clear embossing powder, hitting it with my heat gun, and then I'm gonna do a little ink blending. So I'm doing kind of an emboss resist. I'm starting with twirling, twirling tutu, and then once I do that, okay, I'm gonna do a little ombre style, cause that's how I do, always gotta do the ombre. So once I did twirling tutu, I had a little teeny bikini, and now for the bottom, uh, dull pink and then I did another panel because I'm doing two cards one for the chick one for the bunny and this one's got duckling melon and sunkissed so one's kind of a pink background one's kind of an orangey yellow background and then always when I do my uh, emboss resist I rub it down with a paper towel and that really gets any excess ink off of your embossing kind of really makes the white come out and pop so you get to your two panels I'm going to pop them up I'm using some of that fun foam and I cut that to fit exactly behind my panels and then I'll adhere my popped up gingham background panel to my Nina Solar White card base. So I'm making these Easter cards, but I was just thinking how adorable these would be for a baby card, like a baby's first birthday or even when somebody had a baby, you know, the little chick or the bunny. It'd be so fun. And I was just thinking when I was making these tags, by the way, these are the Simon's Stamp large tag die. I die cut some sea glass cardstock and I'm just popping these cutie animals on there. But you could make a bunch of tags with these cutie animals and they would be a neat way to tie on an Easter gift or tie on the Easter basket. So many fun things you can do. So now what I'm doing is stamping a sentiment. This is a new stamp set. It was a collaboration designed by Neat and Tangled for Simon's Stamp. It's called Cute Chicks 
and I love it. I mean, you can see it right there to the right. There is a chick playing the drums. I mean, get out of town. I can't even handle a chick playing the drums. You're talking to a band geek right here. I'm all about the band. So anytime I see somebody with an instrument strapped on them, and if it's a chick, forget about it. I love it. Okay, so these projects are finished. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy the rest of your hop, and I will see you next time.